Pachirisu, normal typing. The normal typing for this one is admittedly arguable, but from what I can see, its design, Pokemon category, and name etymology in Japanese all indicate a likely inspiration of squirrels or Ritsu in Japanese, which are considered normal animals in the real world, especially when you consider other squirrel-like Pokemon like the Screwvet line. It even exerts similar behaviors of squirrels like Screwvet, according to its text entries in the games and anime, such as living up in treetops and storing berries in tree hollows, and if it is any consolation, it did learn once exclusive normal type moves like Hyper Fang and Super Fang. The Floatzel line, normal typing. Just like what I said about Pachirisu, both Weasel and Floatzel are very likely based off weasels and or river otters considering their designs, Pokemon category and name etymologies which again are real life animals that exist in our real world. And they appear to even imitate their behavior as described in their deck entries like Bleasel keeping its head above water to watch for potential prey, and Floatzu inhabiting near fishing ports just like sea otters. Although in this case it may have possibly not been given this typing considering the existence of Biburial. Ardeno, Fairy Typing Ardeno is similar to Charizard and Gyarados, for example, that have mega forms that are given a different type that would unironically fit perfectly with their regular forms. What I mean by this is that the mega form, from what I can see, always takes a particular aspect about a Pokemon and amplifies it in its mega form. And in Ardeno's case, its mega form gaining the fairy typing may stem from its partial inspiration from fairies, in particular with its ears resembling the fairy type symbol. Thus, might also partially explain why it is blatantly a part of the fairy egg group, implying its design is considered cute, and maybe why it is colored pink like other fairy types. Its text entries both in the games and anime even mention in particular that it has a kind disposition and can gauge the feelings of other creatures with its feelers, something that other fairy type Pokemon are capable of doing too, such as Hatterini. And to top it off, it can even learn a great amount of fairy type moves like Misty Terrain. Unovian Basculin, Dark Typing. This Pokemon has inspirations from bass fishes, as confirmed by a Ken Sugimori interview. And if you know bass fishes, they are known to be very aggressive in the water. And this idea can be reflected in its name etymology, especially in Chinese, containing the word savage, as well as its deck entries both in the games and anime about how it gets into fights with the other variant type are savage and violent in nature, and tears everything in its surroundings, dubbing it the Thug of the Lake by people. It's also no wonder why it is categorized as the violent Pokemon in Japanese, and are drawn and animated with a very aggressive demeanor. The addition of learning a decent amount of dark type moves already is also something to point out too. In fact, I suspect the reason why it's all inside other Pokemon that could be dark typing are not categorized as such is because Generation 5 introduced a ton of dark type Pokemon and they didn't want to overflow the variety of Pokemon types with the dark typing. Just my hypothesis, anyway. Standard Unovian Darmanitan Fighting Typing So to explain the reasoning for this, I will direct your attention towards its dex entries, stating how it uses its strong physicality to make strong punches which is one of its main offensive powers. This could be why it could learn a plethora of fighting type moves already, including Hammeron through evolution, and its highest stats being its attack stat, just like other fighting type Pokemon. And this can be in due to how its origins are likely from baboons, gorillas, or orangutans as noted in its name etymology, who are known for being physically powerful fighters, and also including the name Macho for the same reason and the infamous Bodhisattva, a legendary monk known for spreading Buddhism to China during the 5th and 6th century, and possibly the creator of Shaolin Kung Fu as he began his physical training. So there definitely is some fighting associations with this inspiration. Personally, I don't think this type would work for the Zen mode as it already has a more suitable type to fit them in my opinion. The reason why I don't think it could have been given this type is likely because of Embor being introduced in the same generation. Maractus, Ground Typing 
Much like the cacti line, its design and the abilities it possesses blatantly indicate it's based off cactuses, as stated in its category and mentioned in its name etymology, which more often than not commonly inhabit arid deserts, aka ground. This is even backed up by its text entries in the games and anime saying they live in arid regions and deserts, which is supported by their in-game locations like the Desert Resort, Route 6 in Gala, Rugged Mountain, Desert Rugged Flats, and so on. All this despite the fact they lack available ground type moves besides spikes. And in all honesty, if Flygon can be given the ground typing simply because it lives in the desert, then why wouldn't it make sense on Maractus? The Enovian Cofagrigus Line, Steel Typing. To explain this one, as indicated by Cofagrigus' assigned category and its name etymology in all available languages, they are based on coffins or sarcophaguses, and Yamas with death masks. And judging by their French name etymology, they may very likely take inspiration from the infamous pharaoh king Tutankhamun, with the coffin associated with him being known to be made out of gold, which connects to Cofagrius' death entries both in the games and anime that state that its body is made up of gold and its fondness for consuming gold. This could connect to your mass as well, as the mass it has on its body could be interpreted to be the golden mass associated with Tutankhamun, and hence could be made out of gold. In fact, the colouring of their official designs may be in reference to this, while their shiny forms might also be in reference to white gold, which is a type of metal which is widely used in specialised jewellery. All of which may explain why they are part of the mineral egg group, which implies that a part of their being are made up of inorganic material. Carablast, Poison Typing. I specifically chose this typing for it over Escalava due to Carablast drawing inspiration from ground beetles that are known to produce corrosive substances as a means of protection, which was directly confirmed in an old Ken Sugimori interview and it's clearly outlined in its text entries both in the games and anime how it can produce acidic liquids to both attack and defend itself. This is probably the reason why it can learn a few poison type moves like acid spray. So yeah, while it isn't much to go off, it certainly does make it arguable. The Kling Clang Line, Electric Typing. As apparent in Kling Klang's dex entries, it highlights how its red core can rapidly charge up energy and disperse enormous amounts of electricity. And in a Ken Sukumori interview, he even mentions that the extra gears added onto Kling Klang allow it to produce more energy. So it can be implied that the energy that the two pre-evolutions produce is electricity. If you don't think so, then it at least applies to Kling Klang. Perhaps this is why they have the plus and minus abilities to describe both positive and negative energy, which ironically is mostly given to electric type Pokemon. And this could explain why they can learn an, an immense amount of electric type moves like electric terrain, which makes it one of the few non-electric type Pokemon to learn this move. And possibly its yellowish shiny form could be in reference to bronze, a type of metal that can conduct electricity. Just my best guess. The Electros line, water typing. Despite the fact that it can be found on land like Pony Grove and in caves, an official interview by Ken Sugimori solidifies that this evolutionary line is inspired by Mr. Omura, where he spotted a homunculus eel in a nearby river and wanted the evolutionary line to quote, reflect how an actual eel physically matures in the real world. And this sentiment is reflected in their Pokemon category as the Electric Fish Pokemon, their name etymology across every language, referencing it in some way, where they can be found in the main series games like Seaside Cave and in Scarlet and Violet in Ocean and River Biomes, for example. Even Electros' dex entries state that it crawls out of the ocean, which in other words is where it lives. There's even an official card artworks of Tynamo being depicted as swimming or leaping out of the water, implying it may inhabit water too. So by all means, they inhabit water, hence why for the water typing. Bear Tick, Water Typing. First of all, it is noted in its name etymology to be based on polar bears who are known for their ability to move across water to hunt seals and they commonly spend most of their time on sea ice which gives them the name Marine Time Bear, Marine Time being another name for the sea or ocean. Because of this, they are even classified as marine mammals which, 
what do you know, is all present in Beatrix's lore. All of this about being a great swimmer and inhabiting frigid seas is present in its dex entries, especially since one of its locations in game is literally called the Frigid Seas. This is even backed up by its hidden ability being Swift Swim, an ability that is for the most part given only to water type Pokemon, plus it can even learn the move Surf to reflect its swimming prowess in addition to a decent amount of water type moves. And just to head up, the fact that it's inspired by polar bears may make it plausible to argue for it to be part dark typing, as they are known to be very violent and aggressive animals which coincidentally is mentioned in the Pokedex too, as a ferocious Pokemon and while also learning a good amount of dark type moves already, so yeah, definitely possible if you want to go there. Acelgore, Poison Typing Now, unlike Shelmet, Acelgore is the result of Shelmet losing its shell due to the co-evolution with Carablast, hence it is understandable why Acelgore should not be part steel typing. Now, the reason for this typing ties into why Shelmet should also be poison typing, which is the blatant fact that its dex entries state that it is apparently capable of spitting out poison similar to Carablast and Scrafty in that regard. This is even supported by the numerous amounts of poison type moves it already learns, especially ones like Toxic, which became more exclusive to poison type Pokemon since Generation 8. This could possibly stem from its inspiration of snails, potentially ones that had poison-like qualities to it, that was explicitly stated by Ken Sugimori in a magazine interview back in 2011. Tornadus, Dark Typing To put it simply, as was stated in a 2011 interview with Ken Sugimori in a Dream Nintendo magazine, it's based off the Japanese Shinto god Fujin, leaning towards more of the destructive side of its nature. For it, and alongside Raijin, are depicted as terrifying demons, or oni in Japanese, that cause destructive forces by creating strong storms, hence why it is known as one of the forces of nature. As well as suggested by its French and German name etymologies, it may also take inspiration from Boreas, the Greek god of the North Wind, that is depicted as being very strong with a violent temper to match, interestingly enough. And this connotation is even explained more in its in-game deck entries, where it is known to cause severe storms and powerful winds that can blow away houses, and is what causes people, especially farmers, to fear and despise this Pokemon. This kind of behavior is even shown in the Generation 5 games and the, their anime appearances, where it unprovokedly attacked Ash and the gang and gets into conflict with Thunderous. In the games, it even gets the Prankster ability, which you could interpret it as a dark type ability, and it can even learn a surprisingly large amount of dark type moves already, such as Lash Out. 